Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are required to construct the graph of two linear graph given the table as well. So let's start to zoom in and complete the table first, okay? So I'm going to zoom in on the first table. And I'm going to probably use red color. So how do we find the y value? So this is how we read it. For the first value here, it simply means that they want us to find the value of y when x is negative 3. Where does the 2 come from? Do take note 2 is here. So I'm simply substituting the value of x into the equation. So in this case, I will get negative 6. So I repeat for the rest of the values. So in this case here now is 0. So y equals to 2 multiplied by 0. This will give me 0. And the last value is 3, which simply means what is the y value when x is 3? This will give me a value of 6. And I'm able to now plot these three points over here. Alright, the first point is x is negative 3 and y is negative 6. So, zooming in to the graph. Negative 3 will be here. Negative 6 will be here. Meaning, that this particular point will be the point where x is negative 3, y is negative 6. I continue to zoom in to my next pair of values. x is 0, y is 0. That happens to be this particular point here in the middle at the origin where the x is 0, the y is also 0. Just now the x is negative 3 and the y is negative 6. And the last value will be 3 and 6. So it will be here, 3, x is 6. So at these two points, it will be here. This point here, x is 3, y is 6. And with these three points, I can then take out my ruler and plot a nice straight line past these three points, alright? And I'm going to plot it now. Next, the last step is of course to let people know what function is this. So we do have to write the equation of the line near to the line that we have just drawn and let's move on to the next part another equation method is still the same so I would then have to look at when x is negative 3 y is my y but now do take note we just have to plus 2 to it and I will be able to get my first negative 1. So I repeat this for my next two value. And after which, I'm going to start plotting this oval x is negative 3, y is negative 1, so I may need to then zoom in here, negative 1 is here, 
So this point here happens to be the point where x is negative 3, y is negative 1. My next point would be x is 0 when y equals to 2. So x is 0. Then go up to the point where y equals to 2. So this point here will be that point. And my last will be 3 and 5. So my x is 3 and my y is 5. 5 is somewhere here. So the point where it is both x equals to 3 and y equals to 5 will be here. And therefore, I will then, with these three points being plotted, I will then take out my ruler again and to join the three points using this ruler. And last but not least, we do need to write down the equation of the line. With that, we have come to the end of this video. So if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.